Hey, this is Stacia, and this is a live training game as part of my road to 2000. And looks like we're going to face a King's Gambit, so that's pretty exciting. I like these positions as white and black. Um, so, because they get sufficiently messy... And no matter how hard I try to be organized, I always end up making a mess. So <laughs> I like messy positions. Okay, that was just a silly joke, but still. I wasn't joking about the messy positions. I do like them. Michael Jolson transformed me. Um, okay, so we're going to go with the modern. If my um, coach, Jim Antoline, is watching, he might be wondering why I'm still taking there. I started playing uh, D5 first, and Calvin Blocker yelled at me. So, <laughs> so that was that. In my um, hierarchy, he's at the top. So I'm just going to blindly follow his advice. And when I mentioned that I have to face the bishop c4 at King's Gambit, he's like, oh, that, well, that's no problem. He's like, so face it. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so I do need a line against that. I think I sort of have one. Like there's like this knight c6 thing. That's kind of cool. But anyway, um, I'm kind of shocked that my opponent hasn't moved. I mean, this is a pretty common move. D5. This is called the modern defense of the king's gambit. And usually they take. Oh, now that was actually a mistake because G5 is supposed to be strong, but this could get complicated. The idea of G5 is I want to go G4, misplace the knight, and then possibly check on H4. And that can often spell trouble for white. But sometimes it doesn't, too. So we have to still be careful. <coughs> yeah, I think they're going to do this Muzio Gambit style. So I am going to go G4. I mean, I'll play against that. It's fine. So the move I'm expecting... It's like bishop d3 or something. But yeah, actually the Muzio gambit, the bishop comes to c4, doesn't it? So the fact that I have a grip on that square probably is a good sign. But I also know that the engine evaluates these positions as like minus 2 or 3 for black, so... I know that black is, is better, like quite a bit better. That doesn't mean it's not dangerous for black, though. It's still dangerous. I mean, look at me. I'm not developing anything. I'm just pushing pawns. <laughs> I'm pushing pawns like a beginner. So the untangling process will not be a simple one, but there should be a way through it, and that way should lead to a clear winning position for black. So... This should be a fun game, and I'm feeling good so far, but I'll have to calculate well, so not my strong suit. <laughs> Actually, I say that, but I like my calculation skills these days, so I'm not that worried about it, but, <clears throat> you know, if I'm not self-deprecating, then, then who am I? <laughs> Yeah, he's really thinking about, like, bishop d3 or... something, like, sack in the night. That's what I would do if I was in his position. I'd be like, oh. I'd be like, I want to play bishop c4, but I can't. So, what do I do? Maybe he's thinking about c4. I can't imagine that would be right, though takes 
takes trying to get it, but then I just play takes. It can't be right. Um, you know, on bishop d3, takes. They take with a queen. If I check there, g3 happens. I could play a bishop here. No, that's silly, I think. <coughs> um, I'm a little sick, so I apologize if my voice is a little off or for any coughing I might do. Actually, I had a quite horrible couple of days, but I'm on the mend now. I feel good. I feel feel better. Congested, but, but good. <laughs> Kind of like a London system. He's really thinking about sacking in a good way, but he's probably struggling to find it. Yeah, me too. Um, okay, if he's not going to sack, where should the knight go? It's a good question, right? I, I don't know. I don't know. There's really no no good spot for the knight except for maybe g1. I mean, do you really want to go here and block your bishop and be corralled by this pawn? So he came up with that, apparently. <coughs> okay, I think he's making a square for the knight. So if I take that, he will take he will move his knight. So if I take his knight, I'm guessing his idea is check. It's a fairly legitimate idea. So takes, check, king f7. Is there any craziness flying at me? Queen takes f3. Hmm. It's certainly an interesting position. All right, let's say that I take with the bishop because it develops a piece. Okay, he'll move his knight. Then I check. If g3 I take... King If King A two, maybe knight C six, but then C three I think I like that better. It seems weird to not take the knight, but Another move I could play is queen e7. That just looks awkward, though. Like, why am I doing that? Not clear to me. So I'm going to do this. This might be a blunder for all I know, but... I'm letting the knight in for now, but I can always go knight c6 and challenge that knight. Or possibly bishop d6. Or possibly bishop g7. And 
the knight by himself shouldn't pose too much of a threat. Plus, I'm going to get this check in, creating some discomfort in the white position. And, well, hopefully that will, will mean something. I think it should. And then I really should also concentrate on maybe protecting my pawns if I can. It feels like it's going to be hard to protect my F1, though. I don't know about that one. I might have to just push it or something. So these live videos, since I'm playing classical chess, um, they can be quite long. So what I might do is um, stop the video at some point for you guys. And then um, you know, put make like a part two. Because why not, you know? And maybe I could link the part two at the bottom and link the part one in the other bottom and But I'm rated 1919 in classical right now. So I'm, you know, I'm not all that far from 2000. So this is, this is nice. If I do reach 2000, um, I plan to go back to chess.com because it took me a while to break 1800 and then I'll try to break 1900 in 1510 rapid chess. So that's where the goal. Or I could always try Blitz. 5-5 five, five Blitz also would be an appealing option. Going for... I've actually never broken 1600 in, in Blitz. Yeah, so I thought he would play this move. Okay, so... So I tell my students, anytime a knight jumps in the center, you should look at everything it's doing. So let's follow my own advice. It's covering G6. It's hitting F7. So there might be a sacrifice there. Got to be careful, right? Um, there, and I can challenge on those two squares with this knight. He could also reroute like that. He's also sort of guarding that, and he's attacking that. So actually, this pawn is under attack, so, so this has to be the right move. I just feel like it is. Um, Queen h4 check. If g3, I will take it. If they take back, I win the rook. So that seems fair. That also will pin the bishop. Um, so there's no g3, I don't think. So if there's no g3, I mean, they got to move the king. Let's just play this move. <coughs> We're going to need our time later, perhaps. So we'll just do this does guard our pawn too that's why this appealed to me so much and now um i'm worried about this pawn though i mean i i don't want them to get bishop takes f4 so easily so i'm honestly considering bishop h6 just being annoying and holding on to that thing Yeah, and this sacrifice isn't so great, is it? Because <laughs> bishops go backwards. Pawns don't go backwards. I know that, Sam Shanklin, but bishops do. Um, I can't believe they played. Um, I mean, this is a known mistake, this... Uh, this e5 push is a known mistake. They're supposed to take here. So, you know, when I know stuff like that, it does give me confidence going into the, the alternate lines because I know that black's better there, you know? So then I'm looking for stuff 
that works. Confident that there's not really a way out. So yay for studying. But um, yeah, can you too? I thought they might do that. So I was thinking about an IC6 here. Now F3 check is an option. Is that something I want to do though? <coughs> Sorry. Not feeling well, I feel fine, but I've been sick. Um I mean, if I do check here, they might not even take, huh? They might not take. Well, if they don't take, they can't really go in the dark squares because then this comes with check. I mean, if here, I don't know, this can't be. That can't be playable. Just can't be. So, um, so I'm assuming they would take. Take night takes. Bishop here pinning, bishop guarding. So if I do go knight c6, I mean, they could go here. That's the issue. You know, and then if I take, they go here, I guess. And is that so good? I guess, I don't know, it kind of is, right? Because my rook would be attacked, my pawn's attacked. I mean, it still might be better for black there, but. Because I would have F6 there. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Certainly messy. Um, so options, I could go um, Bishop A6, just guarding that pawn. I could also go F3 check. And on F3 check, I feel like they have to take. And then I would take, right? Take check. And stuff is all opening up around that white king. That's kind of what I like about this. Me, on the other hand, I'm ready to play knight c6 and castle. So I think this move is just what I want to do. Yeah, plus the fact that the king can't retreat where he wants to go, and this is dangerous. All of that is telling me that this is what I should play. So let's just play it. Okay, and now do I take with a pawn? I mean, kind of silly not to, right? Um... Okay, and now I really thought bishop g4 is is an option here. Bishop g4, okay. Um, bishop g4, bishop g2. Knight c6. I like the idea I have this move in reserve. Um, yeah. 
He could play queen e1, I guess. I don't know. I also have queen h5, putting more pressure. So. I don't see a good reason not to play this. I hope it's right. Okay. Um, let's start looking for white's resources. Because, okay, clearly... Their king is not on a great square, but um, I'm stopping the king from going back with my queen, and I guess there's that. That's a pawn move, though. I just feel like, you know... White needs to develop and stuff. Like, what happens if they ignore me and they just go knight c3 and try to attack that? Um, honestly, I might go here. Knight c3 here. Yeah, they did that. So, how do I attack that knight again? <coughs> Not a lot of options, right? Like, I've got this. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna pile up on, in time. Okay, but I could go knight c6. And just castle queenside and claim that I'm better. Um, if I do that, white might go knight c3 attacking the pawn, but then I simply castle. Then my rook's coming in. So I think knight c6 is looking pretty good. There's queen e1, I guess. Queen e1 might be a little bit annoying. I'm not sure. Queen e1, queen h5. Then they move their king with check. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like here. I might just take the queen. I'd hate to do it, but it might. Because I'm developing. So if they want to move their queen. I guess I am helping develop their rook though. Their rook will come to the center. Then I castle. <coughs> <coughs> but I would still have the pin on the knight. And then I'd be threatening that move. I mean, c3, but again, that's just a pawn move. You know, also, if here, I could play something like queen e7 check. Although, I'm not sure what that gets me. Could also take that. I think I'm literally threatening this right now. Although I think they might be trying to check me there. But like if takes takes check I win their oh wait do I win their queen I mean pretty much if they want to take back so let's say takes and check 
it's hard for me to believe in that move, but it's possible they would play it. You know what? There, I I might be able to play like King D7, threatening Rook E8. So I'm really tempted to play Knight takes D4. It checks the king. Can't take with the knight. If he takes with the queen, I play check. You know, if they take back, I just win a queen. That seems reasonable. Here, here, queen d7. Still can't take, right? I think I am going to play that move. It's a check. So he has to respond to it. Now, if he just moves the, the king, that's one thing though. What if he just moves the king? I mean, at the very least, I could trade off in castle. At the very least. So. This is why I like the King's Gambit. <laughs> I really should play it uh, with the white pieces more. I used to play it, you know, all the time. It was my main repertoire for a good year. So remind me of that, guys. I'll play a King's Gambit. <laughs> um... They're fun, they're interesting, right? And um, I usually know how to play it better than my opponents, usually. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty. That's a pretty strong phrase. I, I sometimes do. <laughs> Let's go with that. I sometimes know. Yeah, like, so they cannot take. And actually, what was I talking about? They're in check. There is no queen e3 check here. So... There's no king f2. There is king f1. Then I have to be careful because if he unpins, the knight is attacking my queen. So I either would, I would need to save my queen somehow. I'm not sure how, but... I mean, we don't really want to trade everything, but I think that if we do, it's actually okay because the king, if he comes to f1, he's wide open and I'm one move away from castling. It's hard for me to believe that even if we trade off pieces, it's hard for me to believe that white could coordinate with that, with that situation. So... I mean, king f1 is an option, but what could we do there? <laughs> Probably take with a bishop because it hits the rook. Hmm. Looking for stuff. You know, though, if we take with a knight and they take with a bishop, we can check that way. But then they come back. But then we check, take, and then they have to take with a king. Might be some stuff, maybe.
He's taking a long time. It's nice to play somebody that's slower than me. Wow, that's rare. <laughs> that is very rare. Um, so is King D1 an option? That's a question. The problem with King D1 is that he's still in this pin, which means my queen is just fine where she is. <coughs> I might just castle in a position like that. This same tactic still works too, because if takes, takes. And after bishop takes, I take there. And this time with check. So winning the queen with check, I recommend it. Um, so this move is just off limits. This is illegal. That's illegal. So king f1 is probably the best move. I mean, I guess there's this too. Let's see. If that, though, I have bishop a6 check, it would be hard not to play it. Yeah, I think it's probably just winning. Yeah, so king f1, that's what I thought was best too. Okay, so now my queen is under attack. So we need something something here. Um, now I can capture on f3, it's one thing I could do. I could also move my queen, so let's consider that for a second. Is there anywhere I can move the queen? that makes any sense. Well, queen f6 comes to mind. Because it attacks. <coughs> it actually looks kind of reasonable. It attacks this again. It repins it too. It protects the knight. Um, there is this move though. Hmm. So if bishop there, I actually don't know what to do against that move. So if the bishop comes there, what are we doing? What are we doing there? Hmm. All right. Uh, um, so another option is to take the knight. <coughs> the most forcing way has to be this. I don't know, is that true? Takes, I mean takes, what else? I guess there's some checks too though. Checks and I can develop though. I like letting the knight survive for a minute. I might be able to get that in or something. Take, take. Hmm. Queen of six, bishop here. What moves do we have? there. I mean, is there seriously not anything? Hmm. 
I mean, there might be queen b6, but then there are bishops active, and I feel like something's not right. So something went wrong a little bit, so maybe we do um, capture. I think that's what we have to do. Now, knight or bishop? This is, what, this is my favorite kind of question. Um, when there's two options, which one's better? A lot of times they're about equal. I'll admit, that's the one downside of that question, but... I mean, when the knight drops in there, it's not doing that much. That's the thing I don't like. So, let's say I take, they take. Yeah, I think I like taking. I, I couldn't find anything better, so we'll just do this. And then, I mean, my idea is to just castle and be more coordinated. <clears throat> okay. Now there is queen check, but then I think bishop back here. Is there anything there? I could trade queens if takes. Wow, we jump in and the rook, the rook is trapped. You know that. So I could also check and the king can move up. That's possible. <laughs> Although, if the king moves up... This might be the best move. That's the only way the king can move up. Well, then I think I might have this move, right? There might be that, but then there's this, and not really, because then there's this. So I'm really starting to like that. Yeah, and he can't, he has to react because I'm attacking the bishop a second time. So let's go with this move. And hope that I'm not screwing it up. Um, so that line I saw better work. <clears throat> so I was thinking bishop g2, because that's the most logical move. I can't go here. So, but I could trade queens here, here, knight c2. I mean, we'll be winning more material, and that should be decisive. That should be a decisive advantage for sure. So, yeah, he's doing it. So, why can't I do this? Is there anything crazy? Take, take, knight c2, bishop takes. Yeah, he's going to get some pawns for it, but he's going to have two bishops too. I don't know if this is my best idea, but I'm kind of commi committed. <laughs> so we're going to go with this. Okay. I mean, the other plus side, if he wants to run around with his bishop and collect pawns, um, he won't be activating his pieces. So I think just castle here. 
he can take and then you know I don't have to take the rook right away it's not it's not going anywhere right it's not going anywhere not at all I mean they'll have to like attack my bishop or play knight c3 and then then I'll feel like I gotta do something okay um Now I can also pawn hunt. I might do that because it actually threatens some things. Wow. If I take there, I'm actually threatening check, winning the bishop, and I'm threatening check. The king will move out though, but I'll trade off that rook. Hmm, it's pretty interesting. If he wants to take my knight, my undeveloped knight, and help my rook come out, um, I'm good with that. <laughs> he does have this move, though. Intermezzo. Check. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. I'm not a pawn hunter necessarily, but just when it comes with tempo, that's different. So now he's got to do something. Now I think that check's probably reasonable because then he also can go like that. Um, Actually, he can't, because if he steps back here, I, again, I have that move. So if check, where do I want to put my king? That is a question. Yeah. Do I hide, or do I come out to d8? I'm actually thinking d is just fine. I have this move to cover up if I need to. Right? So, So that should be okay. Although there is this check then, but not really, because I go here. Check, bishop e7, takes, knight takes. Seems fine. What's funny, too, is if I take that rook, then I'm threatening that. But if they come here, I'm not. Because then the rook x-ray defends the other rook. Or wait, I'm sorry. X-ray defends the knight. <laughs> That's what I was trying to win there. All right. Well, those two bishops could be problems. So, you know, one of my main objectives now is to just trade off a pair trade off one of the bishops i don't want those two bishops going crazy on the open board um but i also you know want to make sure i win that rook i also should not get tricked i hope i don't get tricked a lot going on here um I mean, he should probably move his bishop away, though. If takes, takes. I feel like my position is really coming alive. You know, my other rook will come in, maybe with check. And white will not be ready for that, so... They're going to need to move away. The question is where? If they go there, I check and win it. Wow. 
there's no good places for the bishop. I just realized this I take it, 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 and this one I take it. Maybe not. That's probably the best one, and that's not where you want to go. They could also protect their bishop or trade off. But like I was saying, that's going to uh, favor that's going to favor me because if he's going to have any hope, he needs the two bishops at least. <clears throat> he can create tricks and stuff with the two bishops, you know. Well, I'm thinking about ending the video and doing a part two, so maybe I should do that. Good stopping point, right? Okay, so this is Stacia, and I'll be back with part two. <laughs> Let's find out if I can actually win this.